right now. I want to go on the phone now to someone who was on the scene as well, snapped one of the photos we've been showing you uh, since the explosions at 2.50 p.m., Dan Lamparelli. Uh, there's the uh, Lamparello. Excuse me, Dan. We see that photo you took right there, the white smoke shrouding a fireball, people rushing to the scene. Tell us exactly where you were. Hi, George. Um, I was about 200 feet from the uh, finish line, uh, which would look to us as uh, where the explosion took place. Uh, we were right in front of the Mandarin Oriental Hotel out there. Um, very scary sight, probably one of the most scary incidences that I've ever been involved with. Uh, we were out here, my aunt was actually running in the marathon, we were out there waiting to cheer her on, and uh, we thought maybe it was fireworks at first, but then when we saw the second explosion, we definitely knew there was something wrong. So that photo we're seeing right there, is that the second explosion? That is the second explosion, yes. And Dan? Um, for, from, where, from where I'm looking back at the picture actually right now, and looking back at it, it looks like it's at a store um, called Marathon Sports, which right. is right there at the finish line. And how far away was the first one? What was that, Dan? I'm sorry. How, how far away was the first one? Uh, from where I was, it looked like it was right at, they have like a large uh, barrier over the, um, the finish line there, like there's cameras up top there, and it looked like it was right about there, so exactly at the finish line, it like the first one was at. And then the second one was at a little bit more towards where I was, away from the, uh, the finish line there. So from where you were, what, what could you feel when they went off? I, I could feel the ground shake. It was definitely a larger explosion. Um, not sure what it was. I mean, it was a lot of smoke after, um, just a lot of chaos. I, I mean, I got right out of there. There was a lot of people running, trampling. It was a very scary scene right when it happened. And we heard that it was like the loudest thunder anyone had heard. Is that a description? Uh, most definitely a description. It was very loud. It, the ground shook. You could just feel it going down through you. Um, it's just a scary scene. Wait, I want to go back to your photo if I can for one second because I've been trying to figure out how many people are crowded, how many layers of humanity that we are seeing there on that sidewalk. I mean, where I was, we have those Jersey berries that line all of Boylston Street like there are every marathon Monday. I mean, first of all, you never expect anything like this to happen. And, I mean, we were running, there were a lot of runners running down the street there. I mean, as you can see in the photo, and just people, it was, it was literally just chaos. People running away from the jerky barriers, um, with the runners running back, backwards on the racetrack, not sure what to do. Um, police officers and paramedics going the opposite way, going up towards the uh, finish line. Definitely a scary moment. But, I mean, the great thing that definitely was, uh, that definitely helped out was that the Boston Police Department, uh, was right there on the scene. When in second, there were crews just, um, running right up Boyle Street up to the finish line. Yeah, we can, we can see all that, Dan, but you hinted at this as well. Be Marathon Day in Boston, Patriots Day in Boston. Give us just a flavor of the scene in those seconds before the explosion. I mean, what is I, that feeling I, I, I'm like? I'm a college student in Boston, and you think Patriots Day, Marathon Monday, it's a great day to just go up and have fun with your friends. You go and cheer on everyone. It's an inspirational day. And you don't think anything like this is ever going to happen when, when a day like this in Boston. And are all your friends and acquaintances okay, Dan? They are. I, I had actually, my aunt and uncle were both running in the marathon. Uh, luckily, they got, aver they got diverted um, over to Boston University. Um, I was with another couple family members, my parents, my girlfriend. Uh, we're safe. We're actually down in the back bay of Boston right now. We got right out of the area as quickly as we could. Well, thank you so much for phoning in to us. Thank you again for that photo, which helps us understand so much about that moment. It is an incredible... Of course, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it.